Hey guys and girls out there in photography land. This is David Jaffe. I am with Liftoff Studios here in Charlotte and one of the instructors at the Aperture Lab. I'm here today at Cardinal Camera Charlotte, one of our favorite sponsors of the Aperture Lab. I'm here today with Tony Ulcer. Hi, Tony. What's up, Dave? <laughs> we are going to talk about just a couple of little base camera accessories that we really recommend you have when you get your first camera or you've upgraded to your first DSLR or something along those lines. Uh, Tony's picked out a couple of really cool things for us here today. The first one is, and I love this, this little rocket shaped guy right here. You want to go ahead and explain this to our people at home? Sort of looks oh, like that. Looks like my logo. There we go. <laughs> Pretty simple. This is Jato's rocket blower. And what this is though, what you're going to use this for is to keep your camera clean. Obviously the outside of your lens is key. Everyone's worried and, and, and always concerned about that. But the one that gets overlooked a lot yes. is keeping the sensor clean. And so this will allow you to puff a little bit of air. No compressed air so that you uh, freeze your sensor. Yeah, Had someone that. do that don't once before. That. So good clean air, good powerful bust, blast, blast <laughs> of air to keep your sensor clean. So yeah. I can't stress accessory. the importance of these when I'm out in the field on a location shoot. Uh, it never fails no matter how much you try. Go to switch a lens, pull it up. All of a sudden, where did that spec come from? Hair, all kinds of different things can get in there. So Absolutely. definitely... Definitely a great product. Highly recommend having one of these. On. Lives in my bag. Always. Uh, second piece here, which I think is really cool, not a lot of people always tend to talk about, is a circular polarizing filter, which is this guy here. What this does is this is basically like putting sunglasses on your lens, and this will give you incredibly great colors and can get rid of a lot of reflections, too, when you're shooting outside. Um, Tony, what do you love about CPS? Well, it's exactly what you said. It increases saturation, gets your colors better, lets you shoot through the water. If you're shooting anything, anything landscape, whether it's a waterfall, clouds, uh, this is a given. It, it's, I don't know, it's funny because I don't think about it that much because if I'm outside, polarizer's on. What David said is exactly right. It's like sunglasses. Um, enables for exposure control, uh, kills reflections, increases saturation. It's... It's like a right arm. You have to have it if you're yeah, shooting landscape definitely. stuff, without question. <laughs> and one thing to think about with these, do keep in mind, you do have to size these to your lens. You have the screw fitting on your lens that these thread into. You can use a larger one on a smaller lens with adapters, though. So if you want to just have one, you can purchase adapters and put them on your smaller lenses. Right. So really handy, great items to have. Not very expensive at all. Um, next thing, bright orange, can't miss it. This is a, what I would call a shoulder sling strap. Yeah, it's, uh, um, it's from Black Rapid. And okay. they invented the, uh, the sling strap a couple of years back. And I much prefer this over uh, a traditional neck strap. The way you wear it is uh, just over your neck, over your shoulder, through here. The way you know you have it on right is you see the logo in the front. The big R. So it's going to hang down by your side. Everything stays secure. It, it uh, attaches in through the tripod socket. Pick it up. You can shoot with it. Drop it back down. Your hands are free, but it's a good solid connector, and you're good to go. This particular one is called the Cross Shot. It's uh, this is the strap that I use, and uh, it's lightweight. It's pretty minimal, but it's adjustable. If you want to carry it tight up into your arm, you can with this adjustment. Yep. You can keep it from rolling around to the backside with a second lock. Um, I love mine. They make about seven or eight different versions of the of the. Uh, sling strap if you uh if you shoot with two cameras if you shoot it a lot with do they have a couple of different doubles that'll let you carry two cameras comfortably um, they make them this does come in black not just this hunter orange uh, but they are a, ter a terrific strap and uh, one that i highly recommend yeah i i love these i use a similar not this brand but similar style strap myself uh, whenever i'm on vacation or just doing personal work uh, it, it's really great especially when you're working with a large zoom lens the weight, just carrying it around all day can get unbearable. So being able to just drop it to your side and walk around, it's, it's really great to have. Yeah. Highly recommend them. It is the only way to go, in my, my opinion. Yeah, Definitely. The last thing we have for you guys today, and this is always a, a really difficult one to talk about, but 
some sort of a carrying case or bag. Um, it, really, a lot of this is going to be dependent on you, your needs, where you're going, what you're carrying. But I think we all tend to have some normal requirements that things we just have to bring with us usually. Yeah, absolutely. And Tony pointed this bag out to me earlier when we were talking. I found it really interesting when you started showing it to me. So I said, uh, definitely bring this one out. Let's, let's show this to everybody at home. Yeah, this is a new bag. This is from Low Pro, and it's called the Protactic 350 AW. And it's kind of a mouthful for a bag. But it's got a lot of cool features to it. Um, first off, it's a traditional backpack. And it's got a great hip belt in it, mm. which is terrific when you're carrying a fully loaded bag. Definitely. I do a lot of backpacking and hiking aside from my photography, and this is the thing that really makes your day go uh, go easy when you've got a good quality hip belt. So it's a well-made bag in that respect. Lowe originally made uh, outdoor gear before they got into the camera right. business. But what we've got with this is a traditional backpack, rear opening. A lot of people sometimes are concerned about safety and things like that. Someone zipping into their bag. Mm. Well, here the opening is on your back. So you crack that open, you have a traditional backpack with room for a lot of gear. And this might be bigger than what you have, but one of the things I always tell people who are looking for a bag is not think about what you have today, but what are the next one or two accessories? Um, it's kind of a drag when someone comes in to buy a flash. They spend 300 bucks, 350 bucks on a flash. And then I come back the next day to spend another 150 on a bag. So if yeah. you spend a little bit more on a bag, don't go overboard because then you're carrying a lot of extra stuff, but look at the next piece. So a traditional backpack with a lot of accessories, a lot of room for accessories, and everything is Velcroed, so it's customizable on the interior. Uh, you graduate to a bigger lens, maybe a 70 to 200, something big and heavy. You can open this up, reconfigure the interior, close up the backpack, and now it's a big top-loading bag where you can Very just nice. drop a camera in straight from the top pretty cool and if you would prefer to carry it as a sling everybody from college always carried their backpack with one arm right yeah. so you can carry it as a sling and now you have side entry where you can simply unzip and access the bag from the side so now you can get into it without taking the bag off and if you've never seen a side entry for you guys at home i'm gonna go ahead and pull this off real quick because i have noticed I've met quite a few people that have never seen a side entry bag before. It's really neat. You can have your lens already on it, and the camera slides down in through this opening. So you just swing it around to your front, pull your camera out, and you're ready to shoot. So you're not fumbling trying to get into the backpack. One, yeah, exactly. One of the things I, in years past, and I still don't have a great love affair with them, is exactly that. Is to get into a backpack, you've yeah. got to take it off. Take it off, you're going to set it down. Maybe it gets dirty. Maybe it gets muddy. Yeah. Maybe someone lifts it. So this way, by using a side entry bag, you don't have to take it off, but you've got the, uh, the, the flexibility and the efficiency of being able to carry a lot of stuff in a small bag. And then as kind of the uh, extra last piece, this is part of Low Pro's AW series. AW stands for all weather. Ah. You have a raincoat. It's integrated with the bag. Very nice. It's seam sealed. It fits to the bag. You're out in bad weather that comes up unexpectedly. You pull this out. You cover your bag. And your gear is safe. And if I'm guessing, because I have a low pro bag at home, I have a sling strap uh, style bag. I'm guessing it's built into the bottom right here. You built pull into this the flap back. open, pulls right out. Exactly. Priceless feature to have. I've been down in Mexico, weather looks beautiful. Two hours later, it pours down rain on you. And the last thing you want to do is get, you know, thousands of dollars worth of gear soaking wet. I, uh, similar story, it was about three miles walking <laughs> back from the <laughs> other end of a golf course in the a horrible rainstorm, and uh, I was obviously soaked to the bone, but the gear came out just fine. No worries. It's awesome. So, yeah, awesome. I always recommend AW bags. Yeah. Um, and, and you're always going to carry more than you think once you start getting into this, especially as a hobby. Um, I, sometimes I'm amazed at how much I manage to pack in a bag just to even go on the smallest trip because I don't want to miss being able to get a shot whether it be carrying a couple different lenses, an off-camera flash, a sync cord for the flash to get it off the camera. There's so many things that you probably haven't gotten into yet that you will get into inevitably if you get into this as a hobby and you really enjoy it. So definitely, I like this bag. I think it's pretty cool. Might actually have to think about getting something like this for myself because I could use a little bit bigger bag than what I have. So very yep. good. Well, awesome. So there's just a couple things to kind of get you guys going, get you something to talk about. Um, Tony, thanks for having us here again at the Cardinal Camera Charlotte. Uh, if you guys want to find them on Facebook, they are Cardinal CLT on there. If you go to Cardinal Camera, you'll go to the wrong place. Yeah, you'll, you'll go um, to, uh, we're a small chain, and so you won't get necessarily to our store. And we, we try to use our Facebook page kind of as our store personal website. And so, uh, 
you know, any news, new product announcements, uh, pre-shipping, you name it, um, pre-ordering, uh, we try and put it there first. We can get awesome. it there quickly. Awesome. And of course, the Aperture Lab. Dot com, uh, Facebook, the Aperture Lag, and Instagram. Uh, if you haven't signed up for classes yet or you're looking for some photography classes, check it out. Our classes are going to be a lot of fun, really creative, and different. So thanks again for having us out, Tony. Absolutely. Thanks for watching everybody at home, and uh, we'll see you next time. Fade. You're better than me. <laughs> Way better than me. <laughs> you are higher. You are higher.